Tonight, the Duval County School District is preparing for two potential lawsuits following the arrest of a teacher there last month. Longtime vocal director Jeffrey Clayton was handcuffed at the Performing Arts School and taken to jail, later charged with lewd conduct with a student. His arrest was followed by a flood of complaints from parents, students, and other teachers that Clayton's conduct had been flagged many times before. On your side, Cheyenne Cole spoke with a lawyer with one of the two law firms that plans to school the school district. And Cheyenne joins us now. So Cheyenne, what is the district preparing for? Heather, the school district's attorney warned members at a workshop this week saying there are at least two claims out there they can expect to see eventually. He recommended hiring an outside attorney for an independent investigation. Attorney Brad McGrath is one of the lawyers putting the district on notice. He says they haven't conclusively decided to pursue legal action, but state law requires them to notify government agencies at least six months before filing suit. Attorney Chris Moser emailed the district this week, notifying them that she too is representing a potential claimant. McGrath says his firm has opened an email hotline for families to use. To see what exactly uh, has been going on, how much the, you know, the school knew, um, you know, what were their actions uh, if and when complaints were raised in the past. First Coast News renewed our standing request to interview Superintendent Dr. Diane Green, but we've been told no until the investigation is complete. Tonight at 6, what one school board member has to say about their legal troubles. Reporting in the newsroom, Cheyenne Cole, First Coast News, on your side.